This is a telephoto zoom lens for my Canon DSLR. It goes all the way down from 55 millimeters to 250 millimeter zoom. So at its maximum zoom of 250 millimeters, if we take 35 millimeters as a standard zoom definition for cameras or filmmaking, then this is about seven times zoom. Now on the camera that I'm using now, uh, which is a Canon SL2, it's an APS-C sensor. It has 1.5 times crop factor on top of the focal length you're using. So basically that means that this effective range or zoom range is from about 83 millimeters all the way up to 375, which effectively gives us about 10 times zoom of our normal eyesight or what we're used to seeing. And this is a Huawei P30 Pro. Now what's really cool about the newer phones that have been coming out lately is the camera setup that they have. Now this phone has three rear cameras as you can see here. So you have your standard one time zoom which is about 30 millimeters or 28 millimeters. You have a wide angle that kind of looks like a GoPro but the one that's really interesting here is that bottom camera which is a five times optical zoom. So this actually has optics built into it that zooms in five times your normal length, which is crazy considering how thin and small it is compared to your normal clunky lens. Now supposedly, although this only goes to five times optical zoom, you can use the digital zoom to go up to 10 times and you're still gonna get clear image quality, supposedly. So today we're gonna test both of these side by side, see how well this tiny smartphone camera pits up to a real DSLR zoom lens. To compare the camera with the cell phone, I took the same shot with the two of them side by side. With my DSLR, I took the shot zoomed all the way out and then zoomed all the way in. With the cell phone, I took three shots. One with a standard one time zoom, then again at five times zoom, and zoomed all the way in at ten times. Now, while I will say the DSLR has better quality and a little better dynamic range, I gotta say the cell phone isn't half bad. Even at 10 times zoom, you can still use those images. As long as you touch them up a little bit in Photoshop, you can sharpen them a little bit, up the contrast, and it's absolutely usable. When it comes to macro, however, there is a huge difference. The DSLR lens is way better than the cell phone for macro shots. So let's start testing with the 55 to 250 mil lens, which I have on my SL2 right here. Not exactly a vlogging camera. This is like way too close up in my face right now. So let's see, moving it a little back. And we can actually test out the zoom capabilities on this thing. It starts at 55 millimeters, which is maybe two or three times zoom. And it goes all the way up to 250, which on my camera, which is a crop sensor, means that you get up to almost 300 millimeters. So you're looking at about 10 to 11 times zoom. I'll stabilize it in post. The hard thing with these cameras is that because it's so zoomed in, you're gonna get a lot of shake, even though it is image stabilized. So you really need to know how to fix that in post. Okay, start zooming. So now let's start zooming in here. We'll try to focus here on my face and you'll see just how much this camera can actually zoom. Of course, you're gonna get a lot more shake. That's kind of unavoidable, but you can see the zoom capabilities on this thing is crazy, 10 to 11 times. So it's pretty flexible because you can zoom out a long way to get a wide body shot or those cowboy shots and you can zoom in a lot for a close face shot. So now let's try the same thing on our cell phone. Okay, so now we switched over to our cell phone, which as you can see is more versatile because we have this super wide angle. And let's just take it back to see what the zoom actually looks like on this. So, what are you, in wide angle right now? Yeah, it's wide angle and I can see your whole body and... Okay, so, and she's just a couple feet back and you can already see everything. So let's start zooming in here. Go over to the one time zoom. There, yeah, one time. Okay, so just uh, walk back. Walk back to like where you were in the sun. Like, so you're at the same spot. Okay, so now we're at the same spot with the cell phone as we were with the DSLR. So let's start zooming in to see what the zoom capabilities of the cell phone is versus your actual DSLR. It should go up to 10 times zoom. Anything after 10 times is not usable. It starts to get really noisy. You can really tell the difference once you start at five times and above, but 10 times is still usable. How in frame am I, like in my face? Or? Yeah, right now it's in your face and it's six times zoom. Six, six times zoom, okay. Go all the way up to 10 times. There, it's 10.5, that's a close 10.5 is good. All right, so this is the maximum usable zoom capability. Anything after this, and you're just gonna get really soft and blurry looking footage. So, still pretty good. All right, zoom out. Yeah. 
When it comes to raw zoom power and definition, you just can't beat the optics in the zoom lens that the camera has. But the cell phone does have its advantages. It goes from a very wide angle to really, really tight shot, up to five times optical, plus another five times digital zoom for 10 times zoom. And I gotta say, even though it's digital zoom, it looks really, really good. Not as good as a camera, but definitely usable. So if you have the P30 Pro or any of these other new cell phones that are coming out from Samsung or LG that have these telephoto lens, go ahead and use the max zoom capability. Experiment with it. As you can see, it actually gives you very usable results, believe it or not. I hope you liked this video. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more and leave any doubts or suggestions you might have in the comments below.